Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and today I am back with another entry in my top 10 series by genre. And today we are going to dive into the action movie genre and give you my top 10 movies in the action movie genre that you should own on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. So this is a great list for beginners who are starting a 4K collection, especially if you like action movies, but it's also a great list for those of you who are thinking about upgrading your DVD or Blu-ray collection and wondering which ones you should start with. So it's great for beginners and great for longtime collectors. So this is the third entry in this series. I have already covered horror movies and sci-fi movies. So if you wanna go check those out, the links are on my channel and I'll also link them down here in the video description. So again, my definition of the action genre is a little bit loose. I I know there's some overlap with like sci-fi or thrillers and you know war movies but what I have done here I will say is anything that was a comic book movie say a Marvel DC or otherwise I've taken those out haven't included them in the action genre because I will be doing a top 10 for the comic book movie genre superhero movie genre so you won't see Batman or you won't see Marvel Avengers or any of that in here this is strictly like your action-packed movies and sure a couple might be sci-fi but this is really for those fans of movies like Con Air and Speed and war movies we're talking that kind of action here now speaking of action the last place you want to have too much action is on the internet, especially when it comes to your private data. That's why I have partnered with Surfshark VPN, a leader in the global internet security space for this video. A VPN or virtual private network is a great way to secure your online identity by encrypting your data and keeping you safe from hackers who like to exploit public Wi-Fi hotspots and other public networks to steal your valuable information. It may not be as easy to hack you as some of the bad 90s movies make it seem when they're hacking the mainframe, but it is still fairly easy with a few clicks for a hacker to steal your data over an unsecured data portal like public Wi-Fi, so Surfshark VPN can help protect you from that. It's not all about protection though. Surfshark VPN can also help you get around those annoying region locks that you sometimes see on YouTube when it comes to music videos or movie trailers and it can help you access movies and TV shows on streaming services that might not be available in your country. I know I'm in the US and if you're in the US like me, we all hated when Netflix took the office off of the US version of their service, but with a VPN, you can jump onto a UK server and in a few seconds, boom, the office is back on the menu. So with a 30 day money back guarantee, there's really no reason not to try Surfshark VPN and give them a shot. Head to the link in the description, use promo code FILMS AT HOME, all caps, no spaces for 83% off your subscription and get your first three months for free. So thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video and now let's get back to the list. So I'm gonna count down here from 10 to one and this is a very difficult ranking again because all 10 of these are great 4K discs, but I'm gonna to try to give you that 10 to one ranking, talk a little bit about each disc, but most of these I have already reviewed in full length on my YouTube channel. So if you want more information about any of these releases, check my channel, do a quick search and I'm sure you'll find those 4K reviews. So now let's get started with number 10 and in this slot I put Godzilla vs Kong. Now of course this is a movie that probably could have pulled over into the sci-fi genre Genre. Most monster movies are a little bit back and forth between, but it's really an action movie at its heart. And the reason it's at number 10 is because it does have a true 4K digital intermediate in a very clean, crisp image, great HDR usage, a very bright, colorful image. But the real benefit here is the sound. It has one of the best Dolby Atmos tracks, if not the best Dolby Atmos track that's ever been released on disc. It is an absolute room shaker of an audio track. So I would have ranked it uh, maybe outside of the top 10 just because I think some of these others pass it visually, at least in terms of what 4K does for the disc. Um, but the sound here had to make it included in the top 10. And it's still one that I preach quite a bit is a great 4K demo disc, especially if you want to show off some new speakers or a subwoofer, definitely check out Godzilla vs. Kong. Now at number nine, I have uh, my first war movie on the list from David Ayer. It is Fury. Now, a major reason why I picked Fury is because the 4K does give us true 4K and that's always a great improvement. But the Blu-ray disc I've watched also struggles a little bit with how dark some of the scenes in this movie are, especially in the last third of the movie. It is extremely, extremely dark. And if you're not watching it on a good display, the Blu-ray disc can get pretty washed out. Shad you know, shadow detail is not great. The black levels are not great. And it's really hard to make out what was going on. 
and luckily with 4K and HDR, that really solved a lot of the issues I thought Fury had on Blu-ray. Plus, it's a great movie. It has another great audio track. It is a ton of fun to watch, and some of the tank battles and the fights in this movie are among the best of any war movie that I've seen. So, highly recommend it. Think it's well worth upgrading over the Blu-ray especially, and it is overall a very good 4K disc. Now coming in at the number 8 slot, we've got a uh, 20th Century Fox title which was released by Disney, but this transfer was done by the Fox team before they were purchased by Disney who had some of the best transfers out there. I'd mentioned their Predator 4K release in my sci-fi uh, top 10 list, but this one is Speed, another great 4K transfer from that Fox team. HDR usage is incredible, but it's a huge difference when you get to 4K, especially the way the film grain resolves. It's much crisper. It looks much better than the Blu-ray, which was a little bit washed out color-wise, had some really weird tinting, and just didn't have the level of detail that you can get here on 4K, especially once they did the full 4K restoration. So Speed is a really, really good disc. It would be higher up on my list, but unfortunately doesn't come with Dolby Atmos Audio, just a DTS HD 5.1 master audio track. Still very solid, but if this had had Atmos, it could have been a top five disc for this genre and maybe a top five disc overall. But really, if you've only seen speed on say TV or streaming or DVD or Blu-ray, it's a brand new experience when you get it on 4K and this is a must have upgrade. So now coming in at number seven, this one may surprise a few people because the movie itself um, didn't get a ton of attention, but I think it deserves a spot as a 4K reference disc, and it is Midway. Now I've got the 4K Steelbook here. There's also a standard release. Has a pretty good cast. The movie I don't think is as bad as it got reviewed. Um, it got kind of overlooked by critics, but I actually enjoyed it. I thought the Battle of Midway that was shown on display in this movie was like incredibly... I don't know, accurate, but also just engaging. Like, it was a really good war movie. And the Atmos audio in this is absolutely incredible with the planes flying overhead, the bombs going off, torpedo, I mean, all that stuff, bullets flying around. The sound space is incredible. So a great audio reference track if you're looking for that, very much in the same way that like Godzilla vs. Kong would be. It's at that same level. Um, but I thought that the 4K visuals here were also extremely impressive. Comes with the true 4K digital intermediate, Dolby Vision, uh, HDR, just overall really, really impressive, you know, new digitally shot movie um, that I, I think is a must have on 4K. It is a reference disc all around. And, you know, I would throw out the reviews because I do think it's a little bit better than people let on. And if you're just looking for a fun war movie, Midway is a great choice. Coming in now at number six, this is a Sony Pictures Home Entertainment title and I've got Black Hawk Down. Now, audio wise, of course, this is reference. It's been a reference quality audio disc since the days of DVD, very much like The Matrix was, right? It has been one of those reference discs for each of the formats, DVD, Blu-ray, now 4K. The visuals on this are pretty good and they are a nice upgrade over Blu-ray as well because there must have been some sort of restoration. It doesn't mention it here, but this was shot on film and it is kind of an ugly movie. It's very fast paced. It's, you know, it moves very quickly. And so you don't get a lot of like nice landscape shots, you know, really sprawling, you know, this great cinematography. It's very fast paced. It's very frantic, chaotic. But I did think that the 4K gave you just a little bit more detail that truly improved the way that this looked over the Blu-ray. And the addition of the Dolby Atmos audio in this just takes it to the next level. Another reference track in a lot of these action movies, you know, I'm sort of leaning on audio first, but they all are great visually. But when you think action movies, you obviously want your sound uh, system to, to boom. You want your neighbors to call the police, right? The room's shaking, the subwoofer's going, um, and that's what a lot of these movies give you, and Black Hawk Down is definitely no exception. Now, coming in at number five, I pulled this from the trilogy set, and I just mentioned this movie, in fact, but it is The Matrix. Um, this technically could be sci-fi. It's sort of like a cyber thriller. Um, it falls into a lot of genres, but the reason I put it in action is because of some of the visual effects and the choreography and all that. Like, it redefined the way that action movies were made. And it does have those sci-fi elements, of course, but really, I think action first when I think The Matrix. I think fights, I think shootouts, I think the, 
the the bullet motion stuff that they did the slow motion bullets i mean all that stuff is incredible and then the choreography on top of it sort of the martial arts influence makes it an action movie in my eyes but this 4k disc is very very well done just again as the dvd and blu-ray were it's always been a reference disc and that's no exception on 4k also does compact with that brand new dolby atmos audio which is a very very nice upgrade for the matrix so you know if you've enjoyed the matrix way back to the days of 1999 when it was sort of like the premier dvd on the market and then it had a very good blu-ray release this takes you to the next step and it is one of those movies that you've probably bought four or five times already but you know this is definitely one that you should buy again because every time we get better technology for whatever reason, The Matrix looks even better. So props to uh, Warner Brothers on this. They did a great job. Now dropping in at number four is a Paramount Pictures title and one that also did not get great reviews. The movie itself, not great. But again, that's not why we're making this list. This list is about the best 4K discs and audio that are out there. So the overall AV package. And the movie is Gemini Man. Now, first of all, it looks incredible. It was shot at 60 frames per second, and that is like crazy, crazy good stuff in 4K. It does turn some people off, and it can be a little jarring because movies are shot at 24 frames per second for the most part. There are a few exceptions like this movie, um, Billy Lynn's Halftime Walk. There's some other stuff um, like The Hobbit, which had high frame rates. But Ang Lee, who directed this, likes to experiment with frame rates. And I personally thought it looked awesome. I thought it looked like... Um, you know, the best looking video game I could ever imagine, the best looking shooter game that would ever have been made. True 4K, 60 frames per second, packed with excellent audio, but also a very bright, vibrant movie mixed in with some darker, kind of muddier scenes that don't look too bad. The black levels here are really good, and the 60 frames per second does come in handy when you have big action sequences. It does smooth that action out, and it does make for a little bit better experience in my opinion. I know this is going to be controversial because a lot of people didn't like the 60 frames per second, but personally I did and I think that this is one that really shows off maybe where the, the, the future of movies and especially action movies are headed. We could see higher frame rates, we could see experimental stuff like this, but Gemini Man is an absolutely amazing visual experience regardless of the movie itself. Um, and I think it's a must-have 4K disc. Now dropping in at number four, I've got another war movie and it's Saving Private Ryan, again from Paramount Pictures. Now Saving Private Ryan is another one that's always been sort of the audio reference quality level stuff. And the D-Day scene here and the end scene, those are kind of your key moments, right? Throughout the middle of the movie, it's a little bit slow, but your opening scene and your ending scene, especially the Normandy Beach D-Day scene is stunning with Dolby Atmos. And that's a new addition here to 4K and it's by far the best it's ever sounded. And I only imagine it would have sounded better if you were in a very high-end movie theater uh, back when this came out. But even if you saw this in most theaters, the time that this came out, late 90s, they probably didn't have the technology we do now. And this could be a better experience than that. Now, being shot on film and being pretty grainy on the Blu-ray, that is sort of an intentional look and feel to kind of match the time period but it does clean itself up on 4K, and I did think the use of HDR kind of gives it a little bit more life. Um, it is still that kind of grayish blue, you know, mellow type of um, tint that the movie had. You know, it's not like Sunshines and Rainbows, it's D-Day and World War II, um, but it, it improves on 4K with HDR, and it's not as in your face um, tinting wise as maybe the Blu-ray was and the addition of 4K resolution in a new master um, definitely helps with that film grain and um, sharpens the image up considerably without losing the grain that you've come to expect. So a great disc and another must-have 4K upgrade uh, if you're looking for those action movies that you have to own. So now coming in at the number two spot and this was pretty close. It was very close but I gave this one number two 
and it's Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible Fallout. So this is the latest in the Mission Impossible series. And honestly, I could have taken a few of the more recent Mission Impossible movies and put them on this list. They're all fairly good 4K transfers, but this one is really nice because it does have IMAX sequences, which are stunning and some of the best 4K visuals that I've ever seen. Watching this for the first time, I missed it in theaters, but man, it felt as good as any other 4K disc has. The experience was amazing. It looked incredible and it's no slouch in the sound department either now I do know that there is some aspect ratio shifting here so part of the scenes are going to be with black bars on the top and the bottom part of the sequences are going to be full screen that fill your TV if you don't like that that could be a con but I do appreciate it and I love when they can go to that full IMAX view or as close to IMAX as we can get at home and Mission Impossible Fallout has some incredible IMAX sequences like better than James Bond level of actions and chase scenes and just you know flights in the air helicopter chases incredible stuff I mean Tom Cruise is a maniac of course and he does these stunts that nobody else would do but they really do look good in IMAX so I highly highly recommend this one and definitely check out some of the other Mission Impossible movies especially the more recent ones like Rogue Nation those are also very good 4k discs now for the number one spot and some of you may say well this is because you like movies shot on film and you think the older movies look better I'm sure other people may have a different ranking system maybe Gemini Man or Mission Impossible Fallout they jump to the top of the list but I am still a sucker for a great 35 or 70 millimeter scan that gets transferred to 4k and has that just incredible filmic look and feel and that's why the number one spot for the best action movie on 4k in my opinion is apocalypse now this was a revelation when i watched it on 4k for the first time the other thing that really impressed me is the packaging here which has a ton of discs it's the 40th anniversary edition six disc set has the final cut has the redo cut has the original cut has all that stuff on 4k on blu-ray loaded with special features just a really really uh nice set along the lines of like the 2001 space odyssey set that has sort of this really nice packaging no cheap cardboard sleeves they gave us the plastic this is what i wish more people would do when they do these sort of digibook packages but great audio great visuals if you're looking for that 1970s film look and feel something along the lines of say 2001 I know that's the 60s or Jaws or things from that generation this will blow you away and it's going to be by far the best you've ever seen it on home video plus it's an excellent movie that everyone should watch so it was pretty easy to put this at number one for myself but I know those of you out there who maybe don't enjoy the film grain as much or enjoy these older movies some of these other ones might be better for you but that's why I kind of went a little varied on the list I threw in some modern some older stuff some stuff from the 90s mixed it up a little bit um, but that'll give you a really good idea of what those top 10 discs are in this action movie genre if you do want to buy these I'm gonna put a link to each of them down in the description there'll be a purchase link through Amazon and if you click that and buy the movies that helps support my channel so I really do appreciate it also want to say another thank you to Surfshark VPN for their support of the channel here and the sponsorship these go a long way to help me when I'm thinking about buying new movies upgrading equipment I have a lot of changes coming to the channel hopefully in 2022 if things work out so we could be talking new backdrops new equipment all that stuff and sponsorships really help so I appreciate their support and make sure you check out their link in the pinned comment and in the description to support them as well I've used the service and it's pretty good I always use a VPN I've tried theirs now that they're a sponsor and it's very good very easy to use and it works on mobile or desktop so shout out to them for the support I really appreciate it other than that I hope you guys are subscribed make sure your notifications are on so you never miss a video I am a little erratic with my posting being a new dad and working full-time doing this on the side so subscribing and notifications best way to stay in touch and also make sure you follow me on social media Instagram TikTok, Twitter all the links are in the description and that's a great way to stay up to date with things that are going on and check out some of my other short form content so appreciate all that appreciate all the support hope you guys have enjoyed these lists so far and enjoyed this video but really just want to say thank you for watching have a great rest of your day stay safe stay healthy out there and I'll talk to you all soon